What's going on YouTube? Back with another ACF video here. This time around I'm going to show you guys how we can edit uh, the widths of our fields in order to create, um, again, another kind of organizational tool uh, for the ACF backend. does nothing with the front end, but this is all just to kind of organize your fields um, to give, again, a more organized look to your, your backend and what the fields are going to be displayed as. Um, so right now, as you can see, if we go to the home page, we have these fields here, and you can see that, okay, we've got this header field that spans the whole width of this thing. We've got this content, which spans the whole width, and then, you know, down our images, we've got this thing here, and these guys, and then this thing. Um, so say up in our header text, uh, our header uh, content area here, in the header section, say we wanted to you know, um, say we wanted to take uh, this this here and we wanted to shrink it down to about 20% and then have this guy fill in this, this place space over here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So you come into your custom fields, go to your home page, and you go to the field itself. If you come down here, you'll see that we have uh, wrapper attributes. And this basically allows you to then uh, take this 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 field and, and give it a width property and this is in percentage so if we say 20% there and then come to the header description and give this an 80% again it's out of 100% and we update those if we come back to the home page and we look at this tab you'll see that now the header text is right here and the content is spanning 80% this way and then anything else is below. It's automatically giving you these nice little, little uh, border lines here to kind of space things out. And as you can see, this can be really helpful if you've got you know, your typical three, four column button thing uh, on web designs uh, that you can then you know, space out in three columns, which then mimics the design and allows for, for the editing process to be a lot simpler. Um, and let's see here now if we go down to the home page here go back to the field you see these other attributes here now these do pretty much as what you what you would expect is you can give these uh, these attributes or these um, these fields a certain class or IDs if you wanted to give them certain styling on the back end um, so you can do that um, and that's basically all that there is to it, to the wrapper attributes. Um, again, if I wanted to make this, you know, 25% and come back to the description, make this 25%. And then maybe we put the image up here instead and we make this a 50%. All of these will span right next to each other on the home page. You can see here we got the text, the header description, and the image. And you can do this as, you know, if you go 5%, 5%, 5%, you can just do it all the way up till you reach uh, 100%. And um, even if you don't tack on 100%, uh, your last one is going to stop at whatever width it is. This blank space will not be filled with anything. And your next field is automatically defaulted at, at 100% or whatever the width is, and it'll display below. Um, so that's about it for doing wits with your fields, guys. Uh, if you need uh, any more help with this or you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like the video, please.